everyone could use a good laugh. And Vincennes, Indiana has an unusual museum dedicated to just that. The Red Skelton Museum of American Comedy, located on the Vincennes University campus. Many people today don't know who Red Skelton was. Born at Vincennes, Indiana in 1913, he had over a 70-year career as a comedian, although he preferred to be called a clown. And the hallmark of his fame, he was not only very funny, but all of his jokes were clean. You could watch his TV programs with your kids. The museum tells the story of his career, from performing with traveling medicine shows, to having his own radio and TV programs. He appeared in numerous films, and was one of the most popular entertainers of his day. He won numerous Emmy, Golden Globe, and Screen Actors Guild awards, to name just a few honors. He even has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Not bad for a kid from Vincennes. At the front of the museum is a theater that plays an excellent film about his life. This is a great start before you dive into the museum. There's a section about his early career in vaudeville. What it was like to be funny in radio. The kids will enjoy trying some of the radio special effects. Maybe even you too. When Red moved to TV, he could show his wide range of comedy skills. The museum has a large collection of his costumes. He created a huge amount of funny characters that delighted audiences. There was Junior, the mean little kid. Deadeye the Sheriff. A shady real estate agent named San Fernando Red. A boxer named Cauliflower McPug. A hen-pecked husband named George Appleby. A country hick named Clem Cadiddlehopper. And perhaps his most memorable and beloved character, Freddy the Freeloader. Red appeared in over 40 movies. You can watch a sample of his comedy genius. The museum immerses you into the world of show business. From preparing for the show, to describing the types of jokes comedians tell.
Much of Red Skelton's success was in keeping a joke book as seen here. He would methodically write down funny observations and silliness he thought about every day. In fact, Red woke up at 5 a.m. each morning to paint, write jokes, stories, and music. He composed over 8,000 pieces of music. Red was also a talented artist. Some of his work can be seen here. During his lifetime, he made over $2.5 million a year just from the sale of his lithograph reproductions. After he died, each of his paintings sold for $80,000 a piece and beyond. His favorite subject was clown paintings, although he never would admit why. Red devoted his life to being a clown, and I suspect each clown portrait was like leaving a piece of himself behind. In the same building as the museum, but around the corner and down the hall, are these boxes. They house the signatures that were made in concrete by famous people. Here you can find not only red signature and footprints, but that of his friend and comedy legend, Charlie Chaplin. In one corner of the building is a bust of Red Skelton. Red said that his life's work was to make people laugh. He wanted to be known as a clown. And he devoted all of his energy to it for the next 70 years. And in this world of uncertainty, we could all use a lot more clowns like Red. This is truly one of the best museums in Indiana.